we are again. We are on our way down to Florida. Festival down there called Willie Town South. I'm gonna go rock it. I bought these four seats up just so we can hold them down. Just so you guys have a seat right next to me. That's what it is. to be exact, to rock a festival. But, I got my man's Bobby Bowtie here, AKA Nikki with the Blicky, AKA Little Nick. He's got a little interview for me. And this is a little segment that we call Airplane Confessions. questions lined up should I say he got five questions lined up and I'm gonna answer them right here on the flight live don't mind the background noise it's only because we're really fucking flying so hey here we go let's start it off kick it off with the first one My first plane trip it's crazy because the first plane trip I went on first flight I ever went on was from Detroit to Belize. Now it wasn't a direct flight, it was uh, it was pretty crazy because the farther that I went down south, the smaller the planes got. So it started off in a plane similar to this and then it ended up getting to more of a private style jet, only it wasn't private at all, but it started getting down to that. And then when we got to the mainland in Belize, they took us to a little airstrip that had uh, what we call a Buddy Holly, where a motherfucker had to go and in front of the plane and start the propeller like that. One propeller in the front, it was like a six passenger van. Uh, van. It was a six passenger, it was like a six passenger um, airplane. And what's crazier is, mind you, this was my first flight ever. And they had to balance us out. They had to put my chubby ass on one side, and they had to put whatever other fat dude was in there on the other side. So since they did that, we were all balanced out, that had me shook off the jump. Not only were the planes getting smaller and smaller as we got closer to our destination, but by the last plane, yeah, that that one was like that was the scariest. So yeah, I was scared the first time around, but not not too much. Um, the, the turbulence was crazy. It was, it was actually, in a way, is is I might sound crazy for this, but um, turbulence in a way is fun because there's no there's no record of any plane crashing from turbulence. It is air pockets. So now, fast forward to right now, when in a plane, if we hit turbulence right now. I'm throwing my hands up and going, woo, like we're on a fucking roller coaster. And people get mad at me for that, but I don't care, because I don't need to care what they think about. So anyways, that, uh, that was my first flight. My first flight experience wasn't just from Detroit to Chicago. It was from Detroit to Florida to somewhere else, South America, <laughs> Belize and Guatemala and the planes just got smaller and smaller and smaller. And um, you know what, ever since then, it's been a blast. And uh, you know what, I actually enjoy turbulence because, 
Oh, speaking of turbulence. I don't know if you can hear that. You're telling me I gotta put my seatbelt back on. I'm not gonna do that. But they're uh, expecting some turbulence. Maybe we'll have some fun here live. That'd be dope. We will see. I'm here. On to the next one. Go ahead. So the craziest thing that I've done or that I've had happen on a flight wasn't necessarily something that happened, but it was more of something that I've done. So I had a show out in Oakland on the West Coast and a uh, great show packed in, made some decent cheddar. So speaking of cheddar, this is how I'm living. This is how I'm living on an interview. White cheddar, baby. So, let me casually, let's casually go ahead and sip on my tequila while I answer this question. Because this is a great story. It's a great question. Great question and a great story. Great answer. I got you. So, like I said, it wasn't nothing that happened to me, but it was more or less something that I did. So it was a late flight from Oakland, and then I had a show the next day in Boston. So straight up from West Coast to East Coast. I believe it was a nonstop flight. It was uh, what, what they call a ghost flight, and uh, which means there's barely nobody on it. So, you know, I was booked back in coach and, and you know, in the lower, lower, back of the back of the pack in the back of the back of the plane, where I usually stay. But for this in particular flight, there was nobody on it hardly, except for maybe 30 to 50 people tops. And um, I just sat down up front in the uh, first class section. The flight attendants didn't give a fuck because nobody else was sitting there. Like I said, it was a ghost flight. Now, here's where it got fun. Like I said, I just got done doing a show. So, it was just me and my tour manager at the time. And we had, similar to the type of party we got going on here right now, drinks, whole middle seat in between us with snacks and a bunch of shit in front of us, you know, in the middle, in between us, we had all that. So. Now, these little trays here, I forget what airline it was, but these little trays here were slightly bigger. So, um, we were, my tour manager was counting the money out. It was a late flight. As it is right now, as you can tell by how dark it is outside, uh, it was a late flight. So, we're counting out the money from the merchandise, from the payout, everything from the show. And um, I was like, fuck it, I'm gonna ball out not that many people on the plane. Let's have some fun, man. Like, like, let's enjoy this flight. It was a long flight from, from west to the east. So, so I was like, let's, let's, let's have some fun. So what I did is I pulled my debit card out and I, uh, I bought drinks for everybody on the plane that wanted drinks. Some people didn't drink, didn't want them. But anybody that wanted it, it was on me. Snacks on me. They had the TVs. On the, on, you know, on the back of the thing. Whatever airline this was, I forget. This is, a, this is some years ago. Uh, but they, they had TVs, and guess what? You had to swipe a debit card to rent the movie. You know what I did? Did you want a movie? Whoever wanted a movie? Swipe, swipe, swipe. That was me, I did it. So it was a party flight in my eyes. The, the flight attendants were like, who the fuck are you? I was like, I'm just a DJ. You know, we're counting out money. We got a pile of snacks and liquor bottles in the middle seat. I'm buying everybody drinks that wants drinks on the flight. I'm buying everybody movies that wants movies on the flight. This is, this is a great moment in my life as well. Like, I, it was so much fun, you know? It's not like, I don't do that shit all the time. But that, that time, it just felt right, you know? And um, 
So uh, the flight attendants, you know, they were just like, who the fuck are you? And what the fuck do you do? I was like, well, my name's Clay. Nice to meet you. And I DJ. I'm an entertainer. I'm on my way to another show. I just came from Oakland and going to Boston. You know? Uh, you know, and they were real cool. And guess what? I don't know if this happens. I don't know if a lot of people do this. But I was able to get the flight attendants to do shots with me. Yes, I bought them for them. And guess what? There's no bullshit. I don't gotta lie. What the fuck I gotta lie for about this shit? There's no cap behind it. It was a 100% true story. And if you can find my old tour manager right now, uh, he would, every word for word would line up exactly the same way. So uh, that was that was, that was was one of the craziest uh, experiences and one of the dopest, freshest experiences that I've done on a plane. There's the next question. Have I ever been kicked off of a flight? The answer, you would think, maybe, probably, he at least came close, but it's pretty short and simple. The answer is no. Because, you know, even though we're all rock stars or celebrities, you would expect us to do some crazy shit, especially when we get a little bit of this in us, but there is a line that you draw between being stupid as fuck and being professional. And I like to pick the professional side. So, no, I've never been kicked off on a flight, and I've never been detained. I've never been out of no fly zone. I, I kind of make sure that I, I, I definitely do push the limits because I like everybody around me to have fun. For example, for example, you want a shot? Does your man want a shot? You want a shot? You want a drink? You want a drink? Want a shot? You want a drink? You want a shot? It's on. It's on me. A any of you guys? Anybody? You and your you and your homies? Okay. I'm just make, I'm trying to make it a fun environment. I like having fun flights, man. Sometimes they're boring, you know. So you know, for example, like that. You know what I'm saying? That's like that's like having a fun environment. And uh, if anybody wants, I got them. You know. Fuck it. I don't care if we're flying in first class or we're flying in coach. We're gonna have fucking fun. Especially if it's a three plus hour flight. Sure, we're having fun. I'm not just gonna go to sleep watching a movie. I love it. I like flying. So, to sum it up, no, I've never been kicked off. But I've always made sure I push the limits and have fun with anybody and everybody that's around me in my seats, in my, in my area here. In the back of the back of the back of the back of the plane. So the most, my, my favorite place to travel to always in, within the States, always and always will be to LA, straight out of California. It's a nice, especially if you got a direct flight. It's a nice flight, get some liquor, get some snacks, maybe a cup of soup. If you're up, you know, if you get the bonus to be up front, maybe you get some chicken, maybe a little, little plenty steak. You know, whatever, anyway. But LA is my favorite place to fly out to in the state. That and Vegas, because those are just two fun ass spots. You know, Florida's awesome as well. So I, there's not just one, there's, there's at least four. Florida, San Antonio, or Dallas. So Texas, let's just say Texas. Florida, Texas, California, and um, Vegas, Nevada, yeah. Those would be my favorite places to fly. And I know that sounds cliche, that that's a lot of people's favorite places to fly to, but I have my own reasons. Don't judge me. My reasons are the time of the flight. So that lets me know how many of these we can get into me and everybody surrounding me that I can buy for. And when I touch down, man, it's just a whole nother vibe. As soon as you touch down, you know you're not in Detroit no more. You just, the, the vibe, everything, it's, just, it's great, man. And I, and I love the support and love that I get from everybody in those cities that I'm talking about. So I would say those are my favorite places to fly to. There's not just one, but there's four. Mile High. 
Fight Club. Ooh, that's a gray area of a, of a question. Um, yes and no. As far as, uh, I'll answer the no question, the, the, the no part of it first. The no part is, I didn't get my dick wet in the bathroom. The yes part is, I got a super handy in the bathroom. So maybe I'm part of the half mile high club? Possibly? You be the judge, you know? Super handy by a super hottie that may or may not have worked for American Airlines. Not saying, not, not trying to get anybody in trouble, just saying. That was my experience. That's all I'm saying to that question. I hope that wraps up and ends and concludes that answer to that question. Also, I'd like to follow up and say, I hope that also wraps up Airplane Confessions here with DJ Clay. Make sure, don't forget, don't be a dick. Hit subscribe, hit like, Share this motherfucker, and guess what? Drop a comment and let me know your airplane experiences, your crazy, the craziest moments you've had. If you're a part of the Mile High Club, uh, have you ever been kicked off an airplane? I would like to know. Drop it in the comments right down there, and uh, I'll read them and respond to you accordingly. Other than that, yo, thanks for tuning in, and I'm hey. Shout out to Bobby Bontai for the interview. I'm getting back to my drink and to my movie. Let's go. Woo! Yeah, you're going to want to get that. Fort right, Lauderdale, we here. <laughs> we all the way in here. Bang, 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 bang. Touchdown, baby. Going to link up with my boys, Big LA, Big Mike, my man's noodles, in the Rockets Festival. I can't wait to get off this fucking plane and go crazy. It's going down tomorrow. You guys are going to see firsthand right here on the Clay Station. Apparently, the 5G towers actually do. Smells like warmth. It smells different. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but. It smells like summer, 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 summer time. Yeah, it's a fresh coat. Pizza, that, that's sweet. Let me tell you something about the airport and the mall. They're kind of the same, only one's more expensive. The airport. <laughs> the airport's way more expensive. The drinks, the food, the bullshit that you gotta buy to go on a plane. Way more expensive than the mall. But it's kind of just as cool as walking around as the mall. If you ain't got shit else to do, trying to get some exercise, you can walk around the airport. It's free to show up. Are you in LA? Um, yes, so uh, these dudes sent me down to like baggage claim area to where it feels like it's lower level, but he said this is where departures is as well. No, you gotta go up well, to the but I'm up there. Alright, shit. Alright, well. I'm outside. I'm gonna find my way up there. Um, oh, yeah, if you can't get this, I gotta go around. 
No, I got somebody. You're Just come up. Just come upstairs. Come up the escalator. Alright, hold on. Escalator. I see the escalator. Concourses. Yep, all right, I'm with it. And I realized I'm it's not that way. Yeah, it's a US spirit, right? It's what? Yeah, spirit, right? Yeah, spirit. Yeah, because I'm right at the door. Yeah, you're, you're right there like as if you're dropping somebody off. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's cool. I'm, uh, I'm not here like that baggage claim, and I ain't even got no baggage, but that's what they were sending out. Yeah, yeah, you gotta come up here. So I'm gonna go upstairs. I'm, I'm going upstairs to the ground transportation. That's where I'm going. Yes, sir. Concourse is E and F. Which one are you by? Uh, I'm at the 22 door. It's about the last door. Last door? All right. Yeah, I'll find it. There's two doors. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm right here. Yeah, yeah. We on the same level, bro. Yeah, I'm about to be walking out the door. You, you won't see me in a second right here. Yeah, you'll see I got the red van I see, now. Yeah. So I'm out here. I see these cops. Where are you at compared to the cops? Uh, look to your right. Mm -hmm. That's you with the doors open? Yep. Oh, I got you. Wait, that ain't no town and country. That's a BMW. No, the red one? No, this ain't right. I'm by JetBlue. I'm by JetBlue, America, Azu. Okay, so you down, all right, all right. I'm coming around the four though, I'm like, I'm walking around though from three. But I'm about to see you in a second, as soon as I've done this little curve. Yeah, I'm coming to you right now. No, just stay where you at, bro. Oh, I see you right there. Stay where you, right where you at, bro. I'm coming around this bend. I see you. Okay. Yup, I see you, my guy. I'll see you in a second, I'm walking up, bro. Okay, I got you. Know, you know what, I, I, I went for my walk in a couple days anyway. I could use a little, <laughs> little half mile walk, it don't matter. <laughs> awesome. like that. Especially yeah, holding these bags with some extra weight, dog. You know, wait till you see me. Wait till you see me, dog. You gonna be like, damn, what the fuck? You lost a bunch of weight. <laughs> but so have you, motherfucker. We're gonna start having to call you medium, LA. <laughs> All right, my dude. We walking up to you right now. I see you. All right, my guy. There he is. Baby boy. What's Come on, man. Come on. Doing, man. How you doing, baby boy? Look at you, you looking all good in here. Come on, see? Hey, us fat kids gotta lose that weight sometimes, you know? We gotta be trying to look good for the kids. Check this out, man. We just touched down here in Florida. We in his motherfucking hometown. I got Big LA. Everybody knows him. If you don't know him, you gotta get tuned the fuck in and learn who the fuck he is. This is my guy. I know the belly, fucking baby. Fucking legend. Fucking meme legend. Fucking legend, legend. Yes, sir. And my you know Lucy legend. And I am blessed to have this man here. TMZ legend. My best, best, bestie. Viral from back in the day, okay? <laughs> This, you know DJ what? Clay. That, that's what networking does and real friendship do. You know what I'm saying? You know people in different places, different states, and guess what? You be, you gain real relationships, and here we are. Here we are. Full life. Real so. love. Real love. Straight up. No fake shit. Come on, man. Let's, let's get, this get, let's get out of here. Let's go. Hey. Bienvenidos a Miami. Hey. Check this out, everybody. This is the official Big LA. You know what time it is. We out here thriving, living, making the best life of anything we can. Check this out. We also doing the one thing that y'all gonna be doing right now. Watching the Clay Station. Check them out. That's my homie. Peace.